Proverbs 11, 28 I think I love you, Lord. Proverbs 11, 28 Keep trusting in your riches and down you'll go. But the lovers of God rise up like flowers in the spring. When autumn and winter come around, all the vegetation that grew in the spring and lived during summer starts to fade and die. Those who trust in the Lord are like the vegetation of the earth, they know they will die but will live again. The reason vegetation, like flowers, grass, and tree leaves die, cause the weather gets cooler, and even with sunlight, the coolness does not help to keep them alive. Just because the human eye cannot see the leaves on the trees, or the flowers on the ground do not mean they are dead or permanently gone. They are in a state of dormancy, this allows their roots to grow deep in the soil of the earth. When spring returns, all plant life will sprout back into visible life. I lost $5 once and later found that same amount of money, and I told my father about it. Saying, Daddy, I lost 5 bucks, but I found another 5 bucks somewhere else, so I gained back what I once lost. With fatherly wisdom, my dad replied saying to me lost money is lost money, if you had not lost the first 5 bucks, and when you found the other, you would have 10 bucks now. Money does not grow on trees, but the natural leaves on the trees will grow back. The rich and poor will both die, and to a grave, it really does not matter if they were wealthy or poor, if they love the Lord, they will have a life again. There is nothing wrong with being wealthy, but to trust in money like a god, will lead anyone with spiritual and emotional depression. The famous teen star of the 1970s David Cassidy died in 2018, and his final words were, so much wasted time. Why is that someone may ask? All the girls were in love with him, he could have any pretty girl he wanted. He was very wealthy, but when he died, his net worth was only $500,000. He became an alcoholic and he was arrested, many times for drinking and driving. He lived his life as a drunk liar, so no one really trusted him. He appeared on Dr. Phil show once, and the TV host asked him if drinking days were over, and David Cassidy said, yes then doctor. Phil asked him what you want to be remembered for, Cassidy said, as a man, who was full of love and compassion. My dear brothers and sisters, a godly man does not lie, nor does a family head lie to his family. Anyone who can lie on public TV, and say he has quit drinking, but his body dies of organ failure due to alcohol abuse, knows what he meant with his last words. As his family watches him die, he does not say goodbye to them, but says, so much time wasted, my friend Cindy, said she loved the Lord, but she also loved the celebrities of the 1970s and 80s. She was very depressed when David Cassidy died, and said life seems so meaningless when your childhood idols die, and not long after that, she died herself. David Cassidy knew his life was meaningless, and his last words prove it. Are you and I living a meaningful life for God and ourselves? God bless you all, the Lord Jesus loves you and so do I. His bondservant, Samuel H. Matthew 6, 24 No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. 25 For this reason, I say to you, do not be worried about your life, as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor for your body, as to what you will put on. Is life not more than food, and the body more than clothing? 26 Look at the birds of the sky, that they do not sow, nor reap, nor gather crops into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more important than they? 27 And which of you by worrying can add a single day to his life span?